from the rest of the state's witnesses in regards to what happened the night of April 24th of 2022, as well as the forensic tests. Multiple eyewitnesses have already testified to a masked man walking through the front door of a Romney Meadows apartment holding a gun and opening fire during this trial. They later identified that man as Kevon McCaster. News 18 previously reported the Lafayette Police Department found a car associated with McCaster. Inside, they found a mask and blood. Forensic DNA analyst Sean Sturr compared the DNA on the mask to Tommy Marshall, Edward Roberson, and McCaster. The sample was a mixture of three individuals, and the DNA profile is at least one trillion times more likely if it originated from Kevon McMaster and two unknown individuals than if it originated from three unknown, unrelated individuals. More eyewitnesses took the stand, many of them testifying to the shots stemming from a fight happening inside the apartment that night. One witness, Jamal Purtis, told the court he overheard someone outside of the apartment asking for a gun. He said he told the individuals, quote, don't pass that boy a gun before walking into the apartment. He said moments later, a person wearing a mask came inside firing 10 shots. Tommy Marshall and Edward Roberson were found dead in the aftermath. But in this case, there were, you know, there were uh, a total of six wounds to two bodies. All of them appeared to be indeterminate. Dr. Darren Wolf says Marshall was shot two times, one of which to the head, and Roberson was shot four times, twice in the head. And what was the uh, cause of death in that? Multiple gunshot wounds. And what was the manner of death? Homicide. Reporting at the Tippecanoe County Courthouse, Vinnie Martirano, News 18.